What's up guys? We're rolling up here on another one of my all-time favorites, Basilico's Pizzeria, a place that I recommend to just about everybody that's a pizza snob and appreciates good pizza. We're going to go in and check it out. So one crazy thing about Basilico's is it's the last of the Mohegans here with uh, Dix and H.H. H. Greg and Gertrude Hawk moving on out already. So I'm sure they'll do fine. All right, back in the pizza mobile here, checking out this plain slice and this vodka slice here. Ran me about six bucks for two slices. And uh, when I recommend Basilico's to some people, they'll complain, oh, it's just a little too expensive for me. Well, let me tell you, I've had $1 slices in New York City to self-proclaimed, you know, pizza capital or the, the best pizza in the world. And a dollar slice in New York City is just as trashy as a dollar slice anywhere else. So just two seventy five for one of these slices well worth it because you're getting a really good slice of pizza instead of the dumpster fires uh cheap stuff that are out there on the market so get the quality ingredients go here this i've probably had over 100 times here check out the bottom here nice and crispy and then this vodka is not even of this earth you can find similar at rosario's as well um but it's so thin and tender it's made on a gram of crust and it just melts away in your mouth and you really can't describe i can't describe it to you until you really just try it so i gotta recommend you go check it out the vodka pizza here or rosario's and great places both of them but just take a look at how beautiful these are not using any filters on this camera but i am going to chow down and i'll let you know how it is although i've had it like i said over 100 times and i'm a little partial here but i'll give you the recap all right, just took a few bites, and it was just as perfect as I remembered the last one, which I had probably a month ago. And, guys, the, the, the sauce on this thing is just so smooth. It's almost like buttery, silky, so much good flavors. You can get some garlic in there. The Parmesan really comes through for you. A little light uh, parsley on the top for decoration. You know, that'll light up your Christmas tree there. But uh, overall, my classic here favorite is the New York style. I don't like to get it in a full pie. I like to have a fresh pie and then have them reheat the slice for me because this pizza doesn't travel well. That's another complaint that I hear from people when they get it delivered or they take it home and they wait, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to eat it. It's not quite as good, you know. Domino's might not be great, but it does have a shelf life. Every pizza has its purpose. I think Basilico's pizza was designed to be eaten fresh out of the oven uh, because you know all the ingredients are doing their thing they're they're getting together and they don't fall flat so come to basilico's get it reheated in a slice form that's the peak of how you're going to get it the best way to eat it and uh really that's all i can tell you other than that you're gonna have to experience the vodka for yourself i also like the chicken parm i like the buffalo uh pizza there the hot wing pizza really there's so much chicken on it it's like buying a hoagie you know it might cost you four bucks but Really, you're getting a ton of chicken, and it's great stuff. So, once again, guys, Basilco's Pizza, Dixon City, Pennsylvania. Check it out. It's one of the hot spots in NEPA, and I can't recommend it to people enough.